Hi everyone, and welcome to Mike's Minute, technique training in about a minute. Today I'm going to focus on creating a custom envelope for an unusually shaped card. Uh, a few weeks ago I posted a video that showed you how to measure to make a custom size envelope for any size card, and I had an an incredible amount of response to that and just validated that there was a need out there for that kind of a video, that kind of a tutorial. But with that came some requests for those of you that were looking to make envelopes for unusually shaped cards. And so I thought I would just do a supplement to that video and show you how to measure to create that um, custom envelope. What I'm going to use, be, what I'm going to be using today is the Framelitz Hearts collection that uh, Stampin' Up! just recently released. And uh, I'm going to use the largest heart die. And I'm sure you've all seen this set. Um, you can certainly use any size you'd like, and that's the whole point of this video. But so that it's easily seen, I'm going to use the large, largest scallop die. And I've already created the um, cutout from that large scallop die, and this is what we're going to be working with. Um, just as with the previous video, you're going to start by placing your um, unusually shaped um, card in the upper left corner, and I might say that when we're creating an envelope for an unusually shaped card, what you're looking to, to determine is the ultimate size of that card in a square shape. Um, this has no sides to it, in fact, it's actually just one continuous side, and so that's what makes it a challenge when we're trying to create an envelope. So what we're going to do is we're going to place it in the upper left corner, and we're going to nestle it in that corner just as closely as we can. Now I'm going to move my diagonal plate down because I'm going to use that as a um, tool in a minute. So we're going to get it as close as we can to that corner and we're going to move the diagonal plate up so that it's just very close to the edge of it and move it around a little bit until we see that it's actually the, the closest we can get. And when I have it uh, nestled there, the diagonal plate hits at about four and seven eighths. Um, I'm going to move the diagonal plate over to this side, and as fate would have it, it's about four and seven eighths on that side as well. So we know that if this were a square card, or if this were a rectangular card, in this case square, um, the sides of that card would be four and seven eighths wide by four and seven eighths high. And so what this, this technique actually does is it takes the unusual shaped card and it creates basically a square shape to it so that we can create a square or a rectangular envelope to fit this unusual shape. And in fact, that's the size that we're going to go with. We're going to go by 4 and 7 eighths by 4 and 7 eighths. At that point, you can take this, because this is now the new size of the envelope you need, and go to the first video that I released and use those steps to actually create the envelope for this unusual shaped card. I hope you've enjoyed this version of Mike's Minute and have a great day.